be doing my April Birchbox unboxing. So this is what it looks like. It is a collaboration with Rifle Paper Company. And so it's a very florally box. Last month, so I'd mentioned that my box was coming late, so I was supposed to get my March Birch box and it said it was delivered and it never showed up, so I emailed customer service. They told me they sent a new one if they had the supplies and they'd let me know and then they never sent a new one and so I emailed them again. Um, luckily, they have great customer service at Birchbox, so they gave me $10 worth of Birchbox points to my store for like the lagging communication and not telling me that the box wasn't coming. And then they also are giving me my May box for free, which is awesome. Unfortunately, I didn't get a March Birch box, but I am excited to open up my April box. If you are not familiar, Birch box is a subscription service that costs $10 a month, and then you get five sample products usually. Occasionally, they're full size products, and then you can review those and get basically five dollars back in the Birchbox store for reviewing your products. I have about thirty dollars in my Birchbox store right now so that I could spend that on stuff in the Birchbox store which has really great brands. If you are interested in checking it out and you don't have it already I will leave the link in the down bar so that you could go there and go with my referral link if you would like. You obviously don't have to but if you're signing up for Birchbox that's always a good place to do it so that I can get some referral points for credit which I would appreciate. So anyway I don't remember if I picked out a sample or not this month but I got five products the first thing that I see in the box is a 20% off code for your next order at Rifle Paper Co., which I don't really know exactly what that is. I've never been to that website, so I can't really say if there's stuff on there that I want to buy or not. Then, as always, they come with a card that tells you how much the stuff is. So the first thing that I see in my box is the Brigio Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And this looks like it's supposed to be a super natural brand. So it talks about it doesn't have sulfates, parabens, silicones, phthalates, artificial colors, or chemical fragrance. And so this is a one ounce sample. The full size is usually $26. I love deep conditioning masks, so I'm happy to get this. I love trying them out. I actually have one that I've just been using recently from Amika that I got in a birch box a while ago that I really, really like. So I'm happy to try this out and see how it ends up going. The next thing that I see says it's a birch box exclusive. This is the Marcel 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Solution thing. Um, and this is supposed to be $21 in the full size. I assume that this works just kind of like a toner almost and a makeup remover, so those types of things. I know those are super in right now. I have a Garnier one that I have been trying out that's okay. I prefer separate toners and makeup removers for whatever reason. I just don't, some of them leave like a film on my face and I don't really fully appreciate that. But I'm sure I will try this out and use it and if I use it up you'll see it in an empties at some point. The next thing that I see is a Rinse skincare product. So this is the Instant Firming Beauty Shot. The full size of this is usually $54. I know that the Rin Skin Care stuff is usually pretty expensive. And this is supposed to revitalize your skin for a firmer, more lifted, and plumper look. So it's a serum that can be used on top of makeup or underneath as skincare, which is interesting. I don't know that I would like to use it over makeup and stuff like that. I'm not a big fan of that. So I will definitely use this though. It doesn't seem like there's a ton in it, so I will probably have this in an empties fairly soon. I have used Rinse Skincare stuff in the past and really liked it, so we'll see how that goes. The next thing is a perfume sample, which I'm never super excited about, but this is from My Daughter Fragrances and it's called Bloom 23. It is $85 in the full size and it's supposed to smell like a mingle of jasmine and gardenia with creamy vanilla finishing off with warm sandalwood. It's one of the ones that like has a pull thing, which is always kind of obnoxious. Try not to spill this everywhere. I don't love the smell of this. There's a hint of something that's just super gross to me on the edges of it. So I am actually gonna probably put this right into my empties because I just don't really like it. Their perfume samples 90% of the time are not good smelling to me and I end up getting rid of them without really using them or maybe using them one or two times. I think I've only found maybe two samples from Birchbox that I've really enjoyed, I think. So that's probably not going to stay with me for very long. And then the last thing that I have is a lip crayon. So this is the PBJ Smoothie Stick Lip Crayon. This one is in Guava Nice Day. So these are normally $14.95 and I assume this is full size because it's a pretty decent sized crayon stick here. So this looks like it's in a mauve type color. That looks like a nice color. I'm sure I will wear that. That actually looks a lot like a color that I'm working on using up right now. So yeah, there's a pretty good size amount of product in there. So this must be a full size. Um, this one is supposed to be creamy. It's supposed to have almond oil and hydrating stuff. So it's mostly supposed to be just a tint. So I'm actually really excited about this. This is a good color for me. I don't always get the colors that really work for me. So I'm excited about that. So overall, not a bad month, not a great month. I actually just signed up for the Sephora Playbox. They came out with that yesterday. The email came out and they said that they were accepting people for it now. So I will be 
subscribing to that. I'm sure I will show you guys unboxings when I get my first box. Yeah, but not not the best box ever. I wish I would have gotten last month's box. I was actually really excited about it. I'm actually super bummed that I didn't end up getting it because there was a Kiehl's product in it that I was excited for trying out. So that was a bummer. But that is it for my April Birch Box unboxing. I would love to know if you guys have experience with any of these products. I would love to know what you got in your box this month. If you guys loved your box or hated your box, or if you like me were kind of eh about your box, you weren't really excited. That perfume sample's gotta go. That's not exciting. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.